so sunset's about 40 minutes away and we're gonna get a taxi to Souk Wakif. See you there. So Souk Wakif is um, another one of these um, cultural sites of Doha that's not actually cultural because it's sort of fake but everyone goes there. Loads of restaurants. There's a quite a controversial pet section. Hopefully that's, well, hopefully it's not there, but it probably is. We'll probably see that. Uh, we'll be get some food, see the sights, maybe even buy something in one of the, uh, in one of the souks. Really? You're going to buy something? Maybe. What are you going to buy? I don't know. Something of my choosing. Yeah. Wow, that sky looks good, doesn't it, with the mosque? But here we are. Look how busy it is. It only opened 12 minutes ago, so let's see what we see. I must have been here about 20 times. Just one of the uh, fooderies, Azerbaijani on that one. It looks really nice. This is one of the sights, the uh, thumb. Unusual, bizarre, but striking. Soup means standing soup. And back in the day, I'm talking about like 120 years ago, it's where the Bedouins used to come with their camels, trading spices, boats, dows would come in from the sea, uh, and it was a place of real trading. But then obviously Qatar discovered oil and gas, well actually gas, and Souk Wakif sort of fell into disrepair. It wasn't needed anymore as a trading post. And then it all actually burnt down, or most of it burnt down, and it was left a racking ruin. It was just a place to avoid, really. And then the government decided, let's rebuild it. And this is the result, Souk Wakif, probably the number one tourist attraction in the whole of Doha, as you can see. So what are your first impressions of Souk Wakif then? Yeah, first impressions I like it, but we haven't really seen anything yet. Let's see something else then. I think what I do like, the uh, wooden pole sticking out looks very traditional. You do your pony trekking, and oh, look at this. This helter skelter type thing, is, I think, is the uh, Islamic cultural centre. You know when you hit the tourist train. Look at that. Fully laden with passengers. Where are they? how good this looks. You want to buy your carpet? Come here. Do you know, even though it's like modern, it actually does look, it looks traditional. If you didn't know, you'd think this is like from 1918 or something. Arabian lamp. Park, camels. Hello. I feel a bit sorry for them actually because they're like uh, tied to the spot and their front legs are all tied. That must be so annoying. I know, sorry about that. I feel sorry for it. Do you know what I reckon? They're the females. <laughs> that's the male there by himself. He's, that's why he's wearing a hat on his hump. Have a lie down. Right, we're in a part of the souk called the Falcon Souk. And apparently, you can buy them here and they cost a fortune. An absolute fortune. I'm not going to buy one, obviously. Or maybe we are. And there's even a Falcon Hospital. You got an ill falcon, a sick falcon, bring it here. Right, we're gonna have a look in, see if we can see some falcons. Oh my God, there's loads of them. Look at these. Wow. Unbelievable. How much do they cost? Real? Yeah. How much? 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 real. Wow. So you're saying the cost of 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, so like up to a thousand pounds for one of these. I was once driving here in Doha 
out in the uh, in the desert area and this land cruiser rammed me off the road by accident he was trying to overtake me and um, he stopped behind me actually and he uh, we inspected each other's cars everything was fine but I noticed in his passenger seat was a hooded falcon anyway he got me going by pushing me along the hard shoulder uh, and I jump started the car and off I went quite a nice guy in the end very nice that was one of my first flirtations with a Qatari gentleman right now we're gonna brave actually going down the alleyways ready let's see what this is like I don't think it's the hard sell that you get in places like Morocco it's quite easy going it's quite a nice nice one to just to visit and walk around this is a good one I like these uh, Qatari flags I like the one with the uh, gold edge see no hassle no one gives you a hard sell just walk around it's all nice and easy so darkness has fallen and the lights are coming on bridge magnets sticks to whack people with oh there's our favorite lamp shop so now we're going to head to one of the most controversial sections of Sukwaki the infamous pet section um, they die the birds they have tortoise little baby tortoises you can buy puppies I think and there's uh, rumors that they're not looked after to the best of the pet owners abilities Rabbits. it is a big place So these been dyed, I'm not sure, I think maybe they have some weird green looking ones. I think the sale of these abandoned you. Though. I think these are terrapins. But look, snails. We get those in, in our, on the side of our house in Jakarta. What do you think of the uh, pet section there? It's just they're all in cages and it's just... It's not as bad as it was before. The previous have been there. There's been loads of the dyed birds and stuff. Yeah, they seem pretty... Yeah. Sorry. Pretty but, um, normal. Now it's time for some food. Yeah. We're starving. So we've picked the Azerbaijan cuisine. Right, our food's arrived. Chicken kebab type things. A bit of bread about 25 quid that's the price you pay in Sukwaki it's really nice is it <laughs> so back in our hotel room so what do you think of Sukwaki I liked it it's good isn't it that's a definite hit it is a hit there's loads of different restaurants to choose from loads of different wee shops um, and it looks quite nice I like the the falcon the falcon sook and the camel you can see the camels and the horses and all that jazz so it's good so yeah that's goodbye from Sukhwakif